So to recap, these were a series of tutorials to help decrease the barrier to entry for using advanced Bayesian optimization to increase efficiency for chemistry and material science tasks, uh, primarily using existing notebook tutorials from the adaptive experimentation platform by Venna. In the first notebook, we looked at using the loop API to perform closed loop optimization of inexpensive functions. Where the loop API uh, is easier to use, it's got a simpler interface, but doesn't allow quite the amount of configurability of the other APIs. We also took a look at model tuning, uh, tuning the hyperparameters of a machine learning model. We looked at batch optimization of expensive functions and closed loop asynchronous optimization of expensive functions. We also took a look at how to adapt the service API, which allows that uh, additional configurability for multi-objective optimization, where you're looking for optimal trade-offs between multiple, often competing objectives. In the next tutorial, we took a deeper dive into continuous multi-fidelity optimization, uh, looking at how to implement that in the service API and uh, adjust some of the building blocks using the Wotorch backend. Uh, we looked at an example of discrete multi-fidelity optimization as well as multi-task uh, optimization, uh, where you can use, for example, simulations along with experiments or other types of uh, cases where you have multiple information sources that you're trying to combine. We took a look at doing offline optimization where the experiments are manually performed by people. Uh, so you can suggest, uh, attach any existing data that you have, suggest the next experiment, report that back manually, and repeat that loop. And in the ninth tutorial, we looked at mixed, uh, at least the building blocks for mixed online, offline multi-fidelity optimization, where you have experiments being guided by simulations and reducing the idle time of your computational resources uh, and your experimental resources. And so these simulations can act as a low fidelity surrogate, um, and the simulations can be run autonomously while the experiments get performed manually by researchers. Um, and as soon as new information is available, uh, meaning we're doing this asynchronously, we report that to the algorithm and retrieve our, our suggestions for the next experiments. In the final tutorial, uh, and I'll just make a mention that those are the building blocks, uh, a full tutorial using the scheduler API along with uh, some of the multi-task tutorials of the discrete multi-fidelity optimization is uh, in the works for a future, uh, future tutorial. In the very last tutorial, we took a, we, I described self-driving laboratories and how they can help the search for new molecules, new materials, and address some of these uh, big societal needs uh, that we have, and provided a teaching example uh, that helps to illustrate some of the principles of this scientific, uh, autonomous scientific discovery. And uh, with that, we dug a little bit into this Internet of Things style communication via the MQTT framework, a standard in Internet of Things, um, and so communicating with a microcontroller from our Jupyter notebook, uh, sending commands to hardware, receiving the data, and uh, there are many more tutorials for that uh, coming soon. So here's some resources that you can check out. First off, I highly encourage you to go to Meta's Adaptive Experimentation Platform at axe.dev. Uh, there's also this great review by Benito Arayave and others uh, on Bayesian methods applied to materials discovery and design that cover a lot of the topics that were included here. And then there's the closed loop spectroscopy lab demo, this teaching and prototyping platform for autonomous scientific discovery. If you're interested in getting one of your own to uh, test out and get that first hands-on experience with the self-driving lab or use it for prototyping or get involved and uh, use it to help contribute to the platform, uh, you can go to this, uh, this link, the self-driving lab demo uh, GitHub repository. If you'd like to get in contact with me, uh, please feel free to uh, tag me in a GitHub issue or, or discussion, uh, ping me on Twitter uh, via a message or tag in a post or shoot me an email. I believe that the topics I've covered are important for accelerating materials innovation and design towards the ultimate goal of improving people's standard of living and quality of life. I hope that you'll join me in this vision and thank you for watching.